I get asked a lot of questions which seem like they should have obvious, easy answers, but simply do not, and it puts me in a kind of existential headspace all the time. A good example came today, when I was able to access my YouTube channel long enough to upload and schedule a video I'd been trying to when I lost access the other day. Someone asked if I'd regained access to the channel, and I didn't know how to answer. In recent conversations with my friend, I realized that I have a tendency to think of everything in terms of its stage in a process, how the current moment came out of the previous one, and where it is on the way to creating the next moment. Were I to have access to my account without issue for two straight weeks I would probably think I was out of the woods for the time being. But I have learned that getting comfortable is entirely the incorrect response to positive feedback in your career. Paranoia is the only correct state for a YouTube channel, and having the power as an individual that you can live through incessantly losing one is core to doing this long term. When I say I was logged in long enough, I do so because I never get kicked out of the account the second I get on. On my phone and Ari's computer where I frequently use my account I was logged out and haven't been allowed to log back in. But for whatever reason I remain logged in on the Brave browser on my desktop even after I get kicked out of the account every time I try to go into the channel dashboard instead of just watching videos from the homepage in some feed. Several times I made it to starting the upload before it tried to kick me out, and I watched the upload bar go to 100% in the background behind the prompt telling me to log in again. But when I went to the dashboard, no new video was listed. The entire time I was making the successful upload I was just waiting to get randomly kicked out, and I still will be for a while. So maybe my account is back, or maybe I'll be locked out again. It is impossible for me to know until whatever happens happens. I love answering questions about myself, and have always been quick to answer any questions I can when I know how immediately. But I think I dug my own grave being so eager to answer people when it leads to the expectation that it's a thing I can and will do in all circumstances. I hope askers can be patient with the time it sometimes takes me to find answers. 1. 